Hello, family. Yes, it's a family affair. It's a family affair. Thank you, family, for coming on over to the house, breaking it down with me as we go through each topic of discussion I'm trying to host with you guys. Thank you for being my host. Thank you for being my co-host. Yes, because we got to do this thing together so we can blow up together. Okay. I just want to say, how are y'all doing this evening, okay, or afternoon or morning, whenever you're watching this video? I hope you've all had a pleasant, detailed weekend. Some got their work did that they want to get out there and do on this weekend. Some just, just want to relax, relax, I should say, uh, in the house today because it was colder this weekend. You know, all the people that live in Atlanta, Georgia, y'all felt the weather out there. It was true January weather. Something we should have been experiencing the entire season or month, but we just getting around to having these little cold spurts or bursts uh, sh uh creep up on us i should say but yes everybody's having a lovely day i hope lovely e evening or morning but i'm coming to you at 8 55 p.m on saturday evening february 1st so all my uh guys get ready for the super bowl tomorrow and have fun 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 and don't bet all your money that goes for rent food and utilities on the game okay hopefully y'all won't be betting at all but if you have to do don't do it with the money that you know you need to secure and provide for your families with all right that's all i'm saying and women too if you're into that gambling scene as well and uh enjoy yourself enjoy yourself clean fun is good fun okay but getting on to this situation yes i brought y'all over to the house because definitely kenya is in the news again and it, it seems like I don't know. Maybe we don't know what we listening to or talking about over here. But what the streets are saying, she wants to have another baby with Mark. She feels like they're communicating more. And she wants to be out there impregnated again with his sperm. And them uh, having another little gorgeous baby girl or baby boy. And I'm like, wait a minute. Hold up. Wait a minute. Put a little fork in it. Okay, Kenny, what the hell are you talking about? Weren't y'all supposed to be getting divorced? Y'all both came out in separate statements saying y'all could not go along with this farce any longer. Or in your words, you couldn't continue in the marriage any longer because of some things. Now you're saying Mark is turning a new leaf. He's actually had a chance to look at himself and how he has been betrayed on the show and he's not pleased with his actions so therefore you all are going to be seeking counseling and help and all of this thing that's what the street's saying girl and the only thing I want to say to you can you do your best do whatever you can honey if you want to say your marriage uh if it is a true marriage go on and try to save it okay so when you give up finally or don't give up you will understand that you did the best that you could at the, at the uh, time that you were doing it. Okay. But I'm like girl. I need another storyline from you. I really do. I'm tired of talking about Mark. Okay. Because one day we see him acting clowning up. And then we got upcoming episodes. Where he's telling you. You're going to behave in front of everybody. Because he want everybody to get along with everybody. So I'm like catch up time. Hmm. They'll probably say that for the last two couple of episodes that are going to be a part of the season of season 12. Because it don't make no sense. I, none of this makes much sense. But we go with what they give us. We ascertain. We make and uh, have logical conversations. Deduce the facts. Form our own hypotheses. And we just go with what we got at the ending. Okay. At the ending, we just go with what we got. Whether we agree to disagree or whether we differ from each other. We're going to be respectful. And we're just going to say okay next season we'll see what she giving us but right now i'm asking for kenya moore to give me another storyline i'm tired of her talking about mark and he treated her so wrong and she don't want to give up and i'm just tired of the whole mark storyline either y'all gonna be a couple on tv or y'all not gonna be a couple on tv that's where i'm right 
now at with this situation fam how y'all feel about that are y'all tired of kicking your ass talking about mark this mark that first she bashing him then she loving on him then she want to have another baby with him then she ah give me a break can you give me a break and the rest of the family a break okay we want you to win we want you to be happy but we need some truth out there we need some truth sir to be injected in you so you can speak the truth okay so we all know what's going on because right now you're talking out the side of your neck oh you're talking out the side of your neck and i'm kind of getting lackluster tired of it okay so can you more i need a new storyline from you okay and i'm not talking about going over there pumping and, and fighting with nene because we expect that from you but i'm talking about you what are we looking forward to towards the end of the season of you bringing back for season 13 because i know you're coming back you're good for tv ratchet tv that is but you know we like seeing you going back and forth just like we bringing nene back so she could be your arch nemesis again so you won't target anybody else because it seems like you and nene can only handle each other the other girls can't get involved because they really get deep in their feelings okay you and nene know the game y'all just using it for good television and banter for us but i need y'all to Tighten up on that backstroke. Do 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 do. Tighten up on that backstroke. Yes, I need you and Nene because it seems like y'all forming a good alliance to trying to be in that elite bloodline circle. I've been watching y'all flow. I've been watching y'all flow, and it's okay if that's the way you want to get down with your soul. Okay, play, play, play. I don't know if you're playing to win, but it just is what it is. Okay, you're going to win fabulous. We'll see how that fares for you later on, hanging around in this dirty entertainment sector of woo, reality TV. But that's all I got on that matter, because I want to talk to my family about this article. Yes, that Radar Online drop down on the social media trending topics. Okay, yes, Kenya Moore is trending out there with them. And let's go on and see what they say, fam, because I like y'all opinions as well. Okay, because y'all get me in check. Y'all try to check me instead of the subject matter. And I done told y'all about that. Don't come for me. Really don't. Okay, maybe I will put my head on the chopping block for y'all to just wear me out, even though y'all wear me out regardless. But I want y'all to talk about the subject matter not how i present it and bring it to your head because i gotta sit there and read what you all feel about it okay because that's how we communicate and now one time do i tell you all y'all wrong for feeling this way y'all shouldn't feel that way no i try to tell y'all to get off each other asses okay let each other breathe let us all breathe just make your statements go on about your business because it's all gossip entertainment i just like talking to y'all about it i like to find some humor laughter in this situation okay because if you really want to get down to it do we really think bravo is showing us how these women really get down no but i'm sure some of their characteristics falls under how they display on a real day day-to-day life okay sometimes they cut throat mentality we be seeing it and i know it's relevant and very prevalent in their daily living when they're not being filmed okay so let's get on into this particular article uh let me see who was it written by okay don't really tell us who it was written by so we just gonna say a staff writer okay it's coming from radaronline.com like i said the title they give us is scandals scandals go around in circles how do rumors get started they started by the jealous people and they get mad cause something they had somebody else is holding hey yes honey that's how rumors get started but we ain't starting no rumors over here at the house no family fat don't get down like that we just kept catch up with each other we go back and forth and we end that shit i'll be on to another topic now if you want to stay on that shit that i just got finished reporting about okay and talking to y'all about on another day when we talk about something else then that's your business okay because i'm like i just dropped the tea down i invite y'all to come over to the house we just bash it out together together you know and then um we going about our business okay we going about our business because that's how real family get down we say what we got to say we talk shit to each other and then we have to come and
and being camaraderie with each other. We hold each other down like four flat tires, okay? But when we just sitting out here and talking shit with one another, that's all we do. We talk shit. We don't put our hands on nobody. We don't look for nobody's destruction or any of that. We just say what we feel, okay? We just say what we feel because we all have opinions like we all have assholes, okay? Anyway. It says as a title, Getting Him Back, Kenya Moore is Optimistic About Reconciling With Husband. All right. Now, some of us in the fam, we don't think she got married. There's no proof nowhere. There's no proof in the pudding. But for all the other family members that said, nah, we wrong. She is married. This, that, and third. We honor that. We, yes, we do. We respect your opinion. We don't agree with it, but we respect it. Okay. But moving on, it goes on to say, a rash decision was made. Real Housewives of Atlanta Star says, of split from Mark Daly. Well, okay, my thing is Kenya sidebar. Who rash decision was it? Cause y'all both came out after y'all got finished appearing on the Tamara Hall show saying, Y'all can't do it no more. I don't want you no more. Both of y'all said that. And it seems like y'all were solidified in y'all decision. But now we having a difference of opinion. We having an epiphany. We're being optimistic now. Okay, Kenya. Okay, because we got some riders over here for you. They ride like four flat tires for you, honey. Whether you right, you wrong. Whether you're morally right. Whether you're morally wrong. They find compassion in everything that you do. Okay. Then you have the ones that think like me. Like you full of shit. Yes, Kenya, you full of shit, shit, shit. You a shit star. You start shit. You just like a running round tornado tan up shit round there. So yes, you go on with your fabulous twirling uh, serenade and serenade somebody else. Okay, we divided over here. I ain't gonna lie. We are divided when it comes to you, but we all want you to win. We just have uh, different moral backgrounds that we want you to follow. So. You got some hitters over here for you, and then you got some ones that want to just keep you tied up, gag you, and we'll tell you when you can talk, okay? But anyway, going back to the article, it says, Kenya Moore wants to reconcile with her husband after their split uh, was his idea. She uh, implied in an interview with ET Online, yes, Kenya was going out there, and Mark was going out there too, but he said separate. Kenya said she getting a divorce, so uh, it's all conflicting, Kenya. It's very all conflicting, but like I said, I'm ready for you to have another storyline that doesn't focus on your marriage. I need you to be getting uh, guided good in that um, business of yours, Kenya Moore Hair Product, that Mark said, hey, I had to help you out with that, because shit like that was falling apart. You know what the hell you were doing? That's pretty much what he said. Kenya came out of his mouth. Not mine. I'm just backing you up on some storylines that you presented to us that just went way south. Okay. Because he brought it out to fruition. He won on your side then. But okay. You want to be optimistic about this particular relationship. Okay, girl. Go ahead. Do you. Uh, going back to the article. It said the Real Housewives of Atlanta Beauty 49 and Mark Daly separated in September 2019 after being married two years and having a daughter together. Okay. One thing I can say. If it's all good, y'all made a beautiful for daughter but the rest uh is questionable all right but moving back to the article she told et we had a fight and instead of giving that time to breathe and figure things out after that you know a decision was made independent of me now can you whether it was made independent of uh, or not you came out on social media and just struck it hard i'm leaving mom i can't deal with him no more that's what you said but you said you're a fighter you don't give up so i don't know what to believe at this time you ain't giving me nothing you ain't giving me nothing to go on but lies okay lies beget more lies beget more lies just like you said on the upcoming episode a cheater is always a cheater and i'm posing to you a liar is always a liar okay and they can't keep up with the lies that they tell all right you remember that situation where you were trying to fumble on when was brooklyn really born you remember she went on those television shows on forgot which one and people were saying no she was born on this day this is what you said you're like oh no let me think about it no she was born on this day i'm like you ain't got to think about when your daughter or a son was born hell you know it was a, a a pivotal moment it was a sensational uh new thing coming into your life breathing into life a new baby okay I'm, yeah, your, your triumphs are something to be questioned about as well because you put being a queen over i think you were you miss usa or something 
whatever but anyway your title that you're definitely not living up to when it comes to your demeanor your behavior but yeah i don't you chose this life and you know hey we supporting you however you know whenever whatever but like i said all publicity whether good or bad is still publicity for you as a negotiating tool to keep you relevant so we all doing our job to keep your name out there kenya we are all doing our job all right but we need you to have another storyline over here from deb chanel i'm just saying we need a new storyline but anyway um uh, going back to the article it said um we are still friends no we are still apart but we are better friends now than we have been in a very long time we're co-parenting great we are going to be going to counseling soon so i'm optimistic what you need counseling for can you you either want each other or you don't want each other that's where y'all both need to start okay you don't need to be talking about another baby you don't need to be talking about um he's changing you know i mean it's all it's all for it's a pr stunt king because that's what i'm thinking this is a pr stunt with what you're doing right but anyway, that's just my thoughts. Going back to the article, it said, uh, can you admit it that raising daughter Brooklyn 14 months affected her marriage? Okay, yeah, because I remember you saying he was never there for you. He he really wasn't there for you during the whole IVF treatment. He admitted that on the Tamara Hall show. So I'm like, girl, what kind of man do you want for yourself? One that is there part-time and not full-time? And then you're talking about uh you gonna want another baby by him are you looking forward to having more babies by him if y'all continue in this love affair girl okay anyway going back to the article once the baby came things just you know the stress of life made our relationship deteriorate and we couldn't find our way back to it but all in all i still think that a rash decision was made she said on whose part can that's my pun intended my sidebar on whose point you trying to still blame it on mom see that's what i'm saying Take some accountability for yourself, can you? What part did you play in the demise of your marriage, so-called, that is? What part did you play? Stop putting the pen on Maura. Stop putting him up as the poster child that's destroyed everything. Can I get an amen that you should have some uh, fault in it? Okay, because if you're going to counseling, you're going in with this attitude that it was all more than that. You, you, I'm going to tell you, I can counsel you right now. This shit ain't going to work, can you? It ain't going to work, okay? It ain't no one-sided type situation, scenario that you're putting yourself in. You, you had to call something to. It's always two people in the incident, and it's always one want to blame the other one. Take accountability, Kenya. Take some accountability. Okay, going back to the story, it says... um where I am right now and how I have been coping with it is just being the strong person that I know to be. Okay. As Radar Online readers know, Kenya Messy Money Wolves also marred her relationship with Maude. You know, Mark didn't want a prenup. We don't have one. Like, he wouldn't even have the conversation. She admitted on December 22nd, Real Housewives of Atlanta episode when speaking of their miserable marriage. Okay, now I'm like, Kenya, all right. You don't have to have a prenup to something that never transpired. Okay, y'all had a contractual agreement which Mark fulfilled by giving you all what you wanted. Uh, a fake marriage, a baby, and uh yeah, and some residual remnants of what deems to be uh, marriage. But I'm saying fictitious. Uh, so, you know, it's just how I am. I'm going to always stand in that shit until you prove me otherwise. Until a marriage certificate license come up, I'm still going to stand firm. I'm going to stand firm, okay? Um, wait a minute. Let me go back. My phone acting up. Y'all, my phone is acting up. Oh, it might be time to get a new one. I don't know. I've had this one for four years, and I'm kind of, like, in love with it, and I don't want to let it go. But, okay, that's just another sidebar, uh, family. Hold on with me. Hold on to your love. That's what Kenya's saying. I got to hold on. Hold on to Mark's love, even though he don't want me. Hold on. That's what she's saying. She got to hold on. Okay, I found my place now. Uh, on the Bravo show, Mark revealed his secret management uh, for financial woes, telling the ladies on camera that he helped fix Kenya fail in business. Yes, and Kenya Shaw didn't contradict him. She didn't say, oh, hold up. Wait a minute, shit. No, you didn't. She didn't get down in them cookie drawers like she should have did, okay? She didn't bite at them ankles like she be doing her 
co-workers, her colleagues. Now she go in on uh, Nene and Tanya Sands and Marlo and Eva and Portia. Hell, she ain't with you in it. Hell, she got in Cynthia ass too. So, Candy, your time is coming, girl. Your time is coming. All right? Because she done knocked on your door several times. And you still let that wolf in. But anyway, this is my sidebar. This is how I'm viewing things over here. I know it. I know it, fam. Y'all going to get me. Y'all going to try to tear me up. But it's it what it is. Don't get on me. Step back. Fall back. Drop back. Okay? I have my own say-so. Y'all going to have to allow me to have my say-so like I have y'all. Don't be swimming in there trying to tell y'all y'all wrong. So, don't be trying, don't be trying tell me i'm wrong god dog it but anyway um yeah that's what it said kenya fell in business since mark had to swoop in and say today and kenya didn't say shit she didn't say shit she ain't try to denounce it she ain't try to rebuttal it she ain't re- debunk it it was just here what it is okay so yeah kenya tell us about that that would be a, a good storyline for y'all to both be up there fussing and you checking him like you be checking and knocking and and, and rocking and socking uh these women on the show okay you could tell women like they be trying to say i'll be trying to tell y'all i'll be trying to tell y'all up i try to make sense of your shit y'all be talking sometime and moving that's what i be trying to do i be questioning y'all okay ain't nobody be a be young uh, ain't nobody above reproach from me okay only the lord himself because he could sit and think about and destroy my life entirely okay that's all the person everybody else can get it everybody else can get it but anyway uh going back you know how i get down i just be sideboarding all over him okay um, uh, it says, um, uh, among other things, he claimed that Kenya Moore hair care was a little messy. Okay, Kenya, he talking about your other baby. Not your newborn baby that y'all had together, but the baby you birthed in by yourself, which was Kenya Moore hair products. He's shitting. He is deprecating all over your dream, honey. And you want to get back with this, 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 the Edgar? You want to get back with the Edgar? Girl! I need you to have some self-love, get in therapy and counseling yourself before you try to go counsel on your marriage, okay, or lack thereof. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying, Kenya, okay, but anyway, yes, he said, let me read that once again, because I don't think y'all caught that. Let me read it to you once again. It said, among other things, he claimed that Kenya Moore hair care was a little messy. Mm a little messy not a little salty but a little messy okay calling herself what she doing out there a bunch of shit all right when they first met okay i helped you fix it he told the group that's what we do that's what he said we do over here i fix your messes because you always coming up with some negative shit that's what he told y'all in my own spin but he just actually said he helped her fix it i was embellishing a little bit just for the entertainment side okay just for the entertainment side okay um uh, according to a radar source mark told the whole truth he was very involved in helping her straighten out her business the insider continued he didn't want to be tied to her she wanted a prenup and he did not okay the georgia peach shot real housewives of atlanta fans when she married mark in st lucia kenya kept the relationship private at first kenya Moore says co-sleeping with a daughter strained life with more daily she was desperate for a baby and after marrying a businessman she said i think all of my plans are in motion and i hope you will see me with the belly so we'll see fingers crossed the queen or the twirl queen did get pregnant more who convinced who could see through IVF had an emergency section, according to people. Uh, as Radar reported at the time, Kenya went to the hospital after suffering a terrifying preeclampsia complications that when her blood pressure was shooting up for the people that don't know what preeclampsia is. Uh, probably a lot of salt in her diet or whatnot. No water was really filtering out the way it should. So she was like pretty much swole like a big teddy bear, a teddy bear, okay? Uh, and they had to get their blood pressure under control because she could have died. Just like people don't understand. Carrying babies, that's a uh, death trap in itself. You can go south in a minute uh, with giving delivery. So it's a blessing when you do come out on the other side where you and babies are doing fantastic. Okay. Uh, but anyway, that was just my sidebar going back. It says, Kenya now has told E.T. everything is a joy to me. Yes, my marriage is falling apart or falling apart. But look at this beautiful dog that i have her smile energy love that she gives me i cannot be happier 
Okay, Cynthia slams Kenya after she nearly ruined Beyonce's proposal amid Moore's divorce. But Kenya resides in Atlanta while Mark, a restaurateur, is in New York City. If they reconcile, Kenya says they have to live together in one place. I wonder where that one place is, Kenya. Girl, where is that one place? And it all goes on to say, and she wants another child. Okay, she wants another child. Is Kenya more crazy? She want another child with Maude Daly or she want another child with somebody else? I just want somebody to tell me that, okay? Because that's where the story ended by saying she wants another child. So I'm like, ah, we're back, family. We're trying to play catch up here. Now, y'all know my uh, spin on this little commentary that Radar Line brought out to us to uh choose as an appetizer for us to feast on and for us to make some uh difficult decisions and coming to some difficult conclusions on how we feel about that subject matter so i've already told you all y'all get down in them comments if you dare or if you care and speak your mind yes speak your mind like um, ronald i have to be saying some of his songs speak your mind baby just speak your mind okay and the rest will follow yes be colorblind don't be so shallow yes and i will see y'all next video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so share and like my videos okay and that's cool in the neighborhood all right see y'all next video guys Bye bye